until about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. To these packs. Absolutely. AAA is a longtime supporter of Valley of the Sun United Way. We really believe in the work that they're doing in the community, and we really wanted to get our employees, our members, and the whole community involved. So this is the second year we're hosting this AAA Pack Away Hunger event. It's going to be August 6th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. We're inviting anybody to come out and join us. You can register at bsuw.org forward slash AAA serves. Um, to register. It's, it's a fun two-hour event and we're just going to be assembling over a thousand of these packs to provide meals for kids to take home over the weekend. So you're just you're packing the bags. We're just packing like you see. We are. Pop it in here. Exactly. This All is right. exactly mm -hmm. what we'll be doing at the event um, with hundreds of people and it's it's a lot of fun. It's family friendly too. Oh yeah, that's a great way to get the kids involved. Mm -hmm. Get your family involved to help other kids and, and people who may be a little less fortunate than your own little ones. That's right. Yeah. What do you guys think? Is it, is it hard work or it's, it's oh, worth it? No, it's a lot of fun. It's <laughs> fun and it's worth it and you're helping Helping Arizona kids, so important. Don't forget about that, especially during the summertime. Summer programs, so mm -hmm. important. All right, thank Absolutely. you guys. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Great meeting thank you. you. Thank so you so much for thank all you. that you do. Thank and you. thank you guys for all that you do for the, the labor back here. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Good morning, Arizona. We are live at Fry's Supermarket off of Camelback and 7th Avenue. Let's talk a little bit about this weather first. Firefighters, men and women. All in Firefighters Memorial, and I have Tom with the Phoenix Fire Department, and we are talking about this memorial, something near and dear to your heart, and we are trying to get it complete. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, the memorial has been 20 years in the making. Donate at the cashier stand, uh, buy a, a, a pin, a, a firefighter pin, put it on the wall and donate that way. Any way you can help will be great. We're raising money until July 16th, another week, and so your help will make a, will let us get this finished. And this would be the only of its kind in the state of Arizona? This would be the only statewide memorial in Arizona to all 119 fallen firefighters. That's correct. How much of it is completed right now? It is about 90% complete. Uh, we've raised one, little over $1.4 million. We need to uh, hit $1.65 million. Um, we will finish it off this year. We'll put up the 10th bronze. The bronzes are beautiful by Arizona sculptors. Uh, and it's a place for families to go, for children to go and remember their parents and even their grandparents. It's a place for Arizona citizens to go. Uh, more than 38,000 citizens have visited since we first opened in October. We want to finish it by the end of this year. Let me bring it over to Tom. And you've been with the department for about 10 years now, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. What would this mean to you and your brothers? Well, it's really nice to have... Criticism after Ferguson that this all of this military grade right. gear was intimidating and it and it was it, if anything it, it 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 maybe incited violence. Well, I think what we're seeing now, I mean, the D Dallas T P Police Department and, and Chief Brown are widely recognized as one of the most progressive in community engagement. And I think uh, you heard from Mayor Rawling even admitting that he's going to have to reevaluate how how much protective gear that they'll be allowed. They actually reduced the amount of. Kevlar vests that they were wearing in response to some criticism that they looked too militaristic. So I think across this country, major city chiefs are going to look at how, how they protect their own officers. And at the end of the day, the public sees that this is an excessive use of military style equipment. It's a necessary and sensible use of equipment that's been proven effective by the military and has sensible cross application and domestic law enforcement. We're certainly gonna learn more and more about the investigation, not only at the scene, but also in, in the gunman's home. Right. Uh, one, one of the things you and I were talking about earlier was just simply all of the supplies that we're learning about that were inside of his home. Right. What does that tell you about the uh, fact that this was a premeditated attack, right. but then yeah. again, if this was uh, a peaceful protest that was planned maybe days before, was it a crime of opportunity, and how did those two collide? Yeah, I think it, it was a it was a merger where you saw the signatures are there. The detectives found bomb making equipment, ballistic vests, uh, ammunition rifles, and and as the mayor mentioned, a, a manual on tactics, on um, combat shooting tactics. And this individual actually was in the Army Reserve, so served a tour in Afghanistan.
few outfits. All right, we've got a picture right here of some folks on a coffee date, <laughs> and let's bring in, uh, we have a guy and a girl dressed and ready for us. Yep, as guys in the come uh, first. Here we go. Who's this gentleman and what is he wearing? Gentleman's is Nick. Mm -hmm. Nick is wearing what I like to say is the quintessential male coffee date outfit. Okay. It's a black button-down shirt. He has a great, simple, Little pop. Leather accessory. Oh, uh -huh. And then he has dark denim jeans and also a great black driving loafer. Ooh. No socks. Oh, no socks. Very casual. Okay. And All so right. you want to make it laid back, mm -hmm. confident, and yeah. happy. That's okay. kind of the first thing. Let's see our girl version as well, because, you know, I might be a little more interested in <laughs> uh, what I need to be wearing for that coffee date. Young lady, what is this girl wearing right now? She's making the stroll. We turned her <laughs> newsroom into a runway. There you go. This is Hello. beautiful Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Ashley is wearing what I love to say is a quintessential coffee date for a woman. Okay. Uh, she's wearing dark denim jeans, a nice white blouse. I love these jade stilettos. Yeah, the those green are hot. pops, just like what you're wearing. It's fantastic Stop. on blondes. Okay, so, so green is good in blondes and wear a pop of color with the heel, a saucy heel. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. where are we going next? What's our next date? We made it to ne the next date. Our next date is our casual date. Ooh. This may be a couple dates.